How's it going, everybody? This is Jeremy from Blockchain WTF. Excited to bring you our next installment of ICO Right Now. Today, we're gonna to be going over a project that hopes to become one of the first data storage solutions for the blockchain, Filecoin. As always, we'll go over the four questions we ask every single time we evaluate an ICO and how those questions apply to the Filecoin project. That brings us to our first question. What is the Filecoin project and what problem does it hope to solve? If you have used Dropbox, you've probably experienced the horror of finding out that all of your free space has been filled and now they want you to upgrade. Hard drive expansion is necessary for many computer users, but existing solutions are often costly and inefficient. Enter Filecoin. Filecoin project hopes to address that cost and inefficiency by utilizing the blockchain. The additional benefit of being on the blockchain is added security as well. Filecoin has created a new proof-of-work-based mining system called Proof of Space Time. Instead of mining occurring when computers solve complex mathematical equations, blocks are mined by storing data. This allows you to put your unused storage space to work simply by becoming a Filecoin miner. All you have to do is get the Filecoin software and fulfill requests on the market to start mining. Filecoin protocol not only rewards those who store data, but also those who retrieve data on the network. Since everything is decentralized, this ensures a more efficient, cost-effective way of transmitting information. To sum up the project, clients pay to store and retrieve data, while storage miners get tokens to store that data, and retrieval miners get tokens every time they serve that data. Now that we know a little bit about Filecoin, we can ask ourselves our second question. What are the market conditions facing the project? Currently, there's already a few projects trying to accomplish the same goals as Filecoin. Storage, Swarm, SIA, and OpenBazaar are already in the space. However, the amount of data that needs to be stored on the internet is simply massive. So there's probably space for all of them and maybe even more. Several large corporations have either been hacked or infected with ransomware, and that's created a huge demand for them to back up their data. So instead of one winner in this space, there's room for many different projects to grow. Now that we know a little bit about the market conditions facing the project, we can move on to our third question. Who is behind the ICO? Fortunately, Filecoin already has a founder who's established in the blockchain space. Juan Benet founded IPFS in 2014, and that system is being implemented into many current blockchain projects. Benet's presence gives the project instant credibility. And that brings us to question four. What is the design of the ICO? Now, it's really important to note that the Filecoin project is one of the few ICOs based out of the United States, meaning that they have to follow the United States securities laws. In order to do that, they're going to be using a token sale platform called CoinList. CoinList's job is to make sure that the token sale is legal. And in order to do this, they've restricted the ICO only to accredited investors, those who have the requisite amount of money to maintain the license and those who have passed certain tests to get that license. The purpose of this extra step is to make sure that the ICO is complying with anti-money laundering laws. The downside of this is that you're restricting access. However, the benefit is that those who have access have some extra security in the regulations. The Filecoin token sale will occur at July 27th at 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. The ICO will take place on CoinList, which is already open for registration. Only 10% of the tokens will be released during the crowd sale, with small percentages going to overhead and the foundation. About 70% of the tokens will be left as a mining pool. The ICO plans to accept payments from most wallets and plans to be on the exchanges shortly after the initial coin offering. So there you have it. That's our review of the Filecoin ICO. Leave your thoughts on the project down below. We'd love to hear them. Also, while you're down there, if you have any questions or general comments, leave those there as well. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future ICO or notes. This has been Jeremy with Blockchain WTF. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.